Welcome to How to Price. This is the cost plus conundrum episode. Yes, I'm going to try to make you feel guilty if you're still using cost plus, and I'm going to try to get you to stop doing it. But let's take a look at the lesson and why, one more reason why cost plus just makes no sense. If we go to the chalkboard, what we see is let's take a look at an example where we've got marginal costs of $100. And we want a 100% markup. So our markup at 100% means that we're going to have a price of $200. So far, so good. Turns out that when we charge $200, we sell 2,000 units. Our revenue then is $400,000. This is pretty nice. What's our contribution margin? Well, since we had 100% markup, our contribution margin is half of that. So we're now making $200,000 in profit, let's say contribution margin. Okay, so now you take your engineering team and you say, look, I need you to figure out how to cut the cost of our products. They're just too expensive. And they're incredible. What they do is they lower the cost to $50. Now, we still want 100% markup. So what are we going to do? Our new price is now $100. Unit sales, well, that's what we're going to try to figure out. We still want to keep the same $400,000 in revenue. If we keep $400,000 in revenue and we've got 100% markup, then we know half of that's going to be contribution margin. The only thing we haven't figured out yet, what sales got to be. And it turns out that if we cut our costs in half, we have to double our sales just to make the same revenue and the same profit. Does that make sense? Why would you have to increase sales? because we lowered our costs. What if instead we did something that looked like this? We said, hey, we've still got those marginal costs of $100. We're still gonna charge 200, but we got to that 200 by using value-based pricing. This is what our market is willing to pay. It turns out we sell 2,000 units at $200. Our revenue is $400,000. Our contribution is still $200,000. Now, engineering comes back and says, hey, we've lowered our cost to $50. But we know we price based on customers' willingness to pay, so therefore we don't lower our price, we leave it at $200. Our unit sales is still 2,000 units then because nothing changed. Revenue is still $400,000. What changed? We now make $300,000 in contribution margin. In other words, we make more profit. <laughs> Doesn't that make sense? Why else are we trying to get cost cuts? The two rules that you should walk out of here, number one, don't use cost plus pricing. I'm trying really hard to get you to stop it. And number two, if you do, don't lower your prices just because you were able to reduce your costs. I'll see you in the next episode.